For this tutorial, we're going to look into installing the application after we have signed up. So we've already signed up for our tab site. We logged into the back side of facebooktabsite.com. Uh, we choose the profile that we want to manage. In this case, it's one called Stamped Concrete. Uh, I click Go. It pulls up Stamped Concrete. And as you notice up here, there's a yellow box that says you have not added tab site, tab site to your fan page. So this tells me that I have not installed the application and it gives me a link right here where to go to install that application. So I click on that link. It takes me to uh, facebooktabsite.com and this link will change. If you change your name from tabsite to welcome, you'll have to install a new application. If you change, uh, if you have one of our paid packages and you rename your, your tab the first time, you will have to install a new application each uh, time you do that. This is a requirement from Facebook. So in this case, I want to install the application. So I say, add to my page. It's loading. It pops open a list of the ones that I manage. You can see Stamp Concrete is the one we're working with. I click add to my page. It adds to that page. You can add to multiple pages if you want, but you would have to have paid for those. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to go back into this area here. I'm going to reload this page. As you can see now, the, the yellow area is gone, so that we know we have the uh, application installed. So I have created a, just a, a mock little page here, some information in regards to a concrete stamping. Um, I, uh, I save that page. As you can notice, it is my default page. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my contact form, and I'm going to set an email on my contact form. click save on that it lets me know that I've changed my email address so I'm gonna go to my Facebook fan page here I'm gonna click on this dot and as you can see now I have a tab site option so I'm gonna I'm gonna click on that tab it adds that tab up there as you can see it also adds concrete stamping this is the page that I, I put in there also has the contact page that I, I integrated as well you can enter your information in there send that it'll go to the email address selected there uh, you can also move around the tab a little bit. Um, you can move it all the way over to the info page. Uh, Facebook won't let you go any further than that, but you can make that a little more dominant on your page. So that's how you install an application to make sure your application is installed. To verify that your application is installed, you can also go to Account, Application Settings. It'll show all your applications, and you'll see the tab site here, an easy alternative to static FBML. It may say Welcome or, or whatever the name of your your tab is that you've added based on on the custom name so you want to make sure you have that in there also you want to make sure that when you click on edit settings that it is the tab is available so you can click add it's added so that tab is now available to, for everyone to see up there so as, as noted by the uh, drop down everyone you can choose who can see that by by some settings here in this case I want everybody to see that I click OK so now everybody can see my my tab and uh, the content underneath my tab so that's uh, tutorial on how to add the Facebook application. Thank you.